Hey, how's it going everybody? So if you can't tell from the title of the video, uh, we have the final iteration of the uh, the new Cox up here. So this is the wood. And as you can see right here, it's all about the wood, baby. <laughs> so really excited for this one. Uh, so I did start with a sample of the new shave stick that Peter sent me. So I got that on my face already. Just gonna add a little bit of water. can kind of see it activating. You can already feel a little bit of the slickness on there. So I just used it like uh, most other pre-shave uh, like stick type products. I just uh, rubbed it against the green on my face and that was it. So uh, if you're curious, the scent notes on the new, gonna get lathered here, I have the, uh, the cock brush. The scent notes on the soap that were finalized are Tunisian and Arabian sandalwood, geranium, honeysuckle, Cambodian oud, cedarwood, and uh, a little bit of saffron and black pepper. So it's very nice. The florals kind of help to balance out the wood smell. So it's nice and complex. It's not just completely a, a wood scent. So for the uh, for the giveaway, once the pre-order starts, or when around the time when the pre-order might start, maybe a couple of days before, I will uh, do another video. A little bit hot, so thank you. But I'll do another video for the announcement, and then uh, when I pick a winner. Uh, I'll just do the same thing as last time, uh, send them my, I'll give them my email address and then they just email me their address and I will put in an order directly to Peter and have it just sent straight to you. Slider looks amazing. Yeah, smells awesome. Really excited. Wish I had a splash, but that'll be after the uh, after all the orders go out. Didn't want to make a splash with an unfinalized scent, so. I'm gonna be going with the, the standard sandalwood splash after I'm all done. Oh yeah, razor today, going with the midi, nine eights, near wedge. Got the spine work with the inlay, extended tail, dark angel wing. Probably my favorite shaver. There we go.
Yeah, it feels really good. I need to try this uh, the shave stick with um, maybe one of the soaps that I have in Peter's uh, older base to really gauge how like how much it's doing. Mostly because the uh, the current base is just so good that it's kind of hard to tell what's getting improved. Although I will say, caught my cheek a little there, that the soap does feel particularly slick right now. Super creamy. Fighter jets are taking off. <laughs> I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. Just because I know it can take it. <laughs> Hope everybody's been doing well. Hope you're all having a good time prepping for the holidays. So, get this cross grain pass going here. So, uh, I know I love to talk about my uh, <laughs> my training. When, I, when I'm on here. So I've hit some, uh, hit some big PRs for myself. So on, on the bench press, I've kind of, I haven't quite hit a wall, but Progress has definitely slowed down, which is understandable. Bench press kind of moves the slowest of the uh, of the big three lifts in terms of progress, um, unless you're like some kind of. You know, freak of nature. <laughs> but um, on Monday, I got a set of uh, 335 for three, put it about difficulty, like, so we say RPE, rate of perceived exertion. Um, put it about like an eight. So, um, when you when you talk about RPE and you say it's an eight, that means like it's out of ten. So an eight out of ten means that I probably could have done about two more reps. I got myself pretty good on the cheek too. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so if it was an RPE of ten, that means I couldn't do any more. So 
I put that at about an RPE of 8. Move pretty well, I think, next week, Monday. I might try for um, 335 for 5. So after I did the 335 for 3, I backed down to a set of uh, three sets of 315 for 3. And those move pretty pretty decently as well. So happy with that. And then uh, today, I PR'd with 405 on squat for 4. I think I could have hit a fifth rep, but my form was uh, was really good on those four reps, and my depth was good as well. And if I went for a fifth, I think form and depth would have both uh, not been optimal. So I just decided to call it at four. Um, it was a PR anyway, so I'm happy with that. And then I don't know if I mentioned it on my last video I did, but for deadlift, um, this is a couple weeks ago. I've uh, I've been kind of changing my style of deadlifting, so I've been working with slightly lighter weights, not really um, going for any PRs. But on deadlift, I hit 500. So I think my current total is something around the. Uh, the low 1300s which is decent but um by uh by about like maybe mid to late of uh 2020 i'd like to get a 1500 pound total so i would need my deadlift to be at 600 pounds which is quite a bit um, I've got a lot of progress I need to make up for on the deadlift because I haven't been able to uh, go as heavy. So I'm switching to hook grip. So if anybody's familiar with hook grip, you know, switching kind of sucks. Um, I'll explain it real quick. So what hook grip is, so when people deadlift, sometimes they go alternating grip. And then to go double over, you kind of can't lift as heavy with your thumbs like that. So what hook grip is, is basically you're wrapping your thumb around the bar and then you're squeezing like that and it really helps out with the grip a lot but it's really painful on your thumbs so because i switched the hook grip i needed to uh back down my deadlift weights a lot So on Saturday, I hit 440 with the, on a single for hook grip, which is pretty good. But uh, I haven't been able to chase any PRs on deadlift since I hit 500. But I'm okay with that. 500 was my goal for the, uh, the end of 2019, and I hit that like over a month early. So... Pretty happy with uh, how the training's going. Hopefully, I'll have the hooker pretty down by early January ish so that I can start getting to some higher numbers. And for um, anybody watching and you think I'm talking about like 
these like relatively big numbers and I'm saying like they're just okay um, and you know you're not lifting quite as much just take into account like my training experience I've been lifting for about um, a total of five years um, I'm also like 220 ish pounds so I'm also talking in terms of like my body weight so my body weight, my weight class, and lifting experience, um, to me, the numbers are just okay. I wouldn't say they're particularly great. 